Hey YouTube, long time no see. I haven't managed to actually upload a video in quite a while, so I actually decided to go ahead and make this one. And the reason I haven't actually been as active on YouTube is because I've been quite busy working on a few personal projects. And one of those projects actually is that I'm currently in the process of developing a portrait drawing course. And that's kind of what you're looking at right now. This is one of the video lessons from that course. And basically the course teaches you how to draw the proportions of a classical face, you know, something that you would see in, you know, famous sculptures. And we use a lot of famous sculptures in reference, but more importantly, the, the course also teaches you a method of drawing of how you can actually design some of these characters using these proportions purely from your imagination. Uh, but I decided to actually go ahead and make this video because I wanted to give you guys a glimpse into the drawing method that I like to use, uh, especially when I'm designing, you know, characters. So this was a character design that I came up with for Achilles. And I drew him in a couple of different angles, right? So I like to start with the side view because I figured that you tend to get the most information from the side view. So I go ahead and do that. I sketch everything in, get the basic shapes in there. And then with the basic shapes in place, I then begin to start adding details and making them a little bit more elaborate. So this video that you're watching right now is basically just like a really, really quick version of one of the video lessons in the course. This character design actually is broken up into multiple videos because it does take multiple stages to be able to design something like this. Um, uh, however, you know, I decided to go ahead and whip this video up just so that you could have like a brief glimpse at the work and the process that's actually involved. So... I just want to quickly mention that in the course, I do teach you how to draw classical ancient Greek helmets, um, but I also teach you in a way where you'll be able to actually come up with your own designs. So again, what you're looking at right now is just purely my own design. Uh, I had a look at a lot of ancient armor, not just Greek armor, but like Roman armor as well, and just sort of went from there. And uh, but, but this is part of the process, actually, in the drawing course that I really wanted to show you. So in this part of the video, what I'm doing is I'm beginning to draw the front view of the face, okay? So with the side view completed, I then grab a, a T-square, or you can grab a set square or whatever, whatever you have. Um, but a T-square is ideal. And as you can see... I'm using these horizontal lines to transfer those proportions across. So when I start drawing the, uh, the front view, the only thing I really have to design is like the width of the face and just kind of the appearance of the face of what it might look like from the front. And then I kind of use the... Uh, you know, my knowledge of geometry and anatomy, which uh, again is a, another thing that I'll teach in the course as well. Um, but using my knowledge, I'll kind of go ahead and design the front view of the face. Uh, but, you, you know, if you're into character design, if you're into designing your own characters from imagination or whatever, uh, this is kind of a method that I think you should probably try out because transferring the exact proportions from one angle of the character uh, onto another angle, it, it just, it, it's a great way to actually train your brain to think all around the figure, right? It, it, it's a great way to train your brain to think all around the object and to get a much more well-developed sense of the structure that you're actually drawing. So it, it's, it's kind of funny. I mean, I think if, if any of you follow my Instagram page, you'll know that I do like a lot of architectural drawings, and when I draw the human figure, it, it's really no different. I approach it as if it is a structure or I approach it as if it's like architecture, right? Because in a sense, it kind of is. The human skull does have a structure. So 
to me, it makes sense to kind of draw it like one. So in this part of the video lesson, I'm basically constructing all the planes of the face, getting the main proportions in there, and then once the planes are established, then I can begin to uh, start adding details such as hair and the helmet that sits on his head. So right now, I'm actually transferring the proportions of the helmet. So once the head is completed, that's when I start drawing the helmet on top of it. And this presents quite an interesting challenge because, you know, on the side view, I had to draw the helmet of what it might look like at the side at a tilted angle. Now I've got to actually draw it at that same angle at the front view. And you'll notice actually later on in the video that the helmet looks a little bit strange, but that's because we're looking at the helmet from below. But again, it, it's a very interesting exercise in geometry because again it, it's it's forcing you to think it's forcing you to think about what it is you're actually designing like what is that structure going to look like from all angles and in return it just makes you a much better draftsman uh, so you know if you're into character design and armor design and costume design um, give this method a go you know all you need is a t-square try and draw it from one angle uh, you can start at any angle that you like. Uh, and then once you've completed that, try and draw it from like a front view or a side view or, or, or a back view. Try to draw it from as many different angles as you possibly can. And, and use a T-square for precision, you know. Uh, try to treat it more, less like a figure drawing and more like an engineering drawing. Because I believe that drawing in a way such as this encourages good draftsmanship it actually forces you to be precise and it forces you actually to solve some of the problems that you might encounter when drawing the figure in different angles but again the the, the whole process is going to be explained uh in my portrait drawing course uh it's not out yet by the way this is um very much a work in progress. This is, uh, it, I, I have recorded quite a few video lessons, so it, it, I'm hoping it's going to be ready soon. But there is still a lot of work to be done on it. But in the meantime, I am going to post updates of it uh, right here on YouTube, um, but also on my Instagram page if any of you are following me there. Um, I am going to keep you guys in the loop and let you know how it's all going. Uh, but with that being said, the course will definitely be out by this year. Uh, it's not far off. There's just a few things that I need to refine and finish. Uh, and I also want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't yet subscribed, then consider subscribing so that you can keep on top of all of my future videos.